guys, so I'm going to show you a new suspension I built, a new suspension system I built. And it's literally suspension without suspension. Now, the first one was supposed to pull a rack. And this rack would move, would turn this, which would trigger this sensor, which would turn on this engine, which would move this and pull, this, pull the thing back and lower the suspension again. But... As you can see, it doesn't really work. Yeah. So I completely just ditched that idea, and here's the next one. Now, this one doesn't have back suspension yet, and uh, it's kind of messy because this electric engine does nothing except lock the bearing, and it has these sensors that are really close to the ground which is not a good idea so you can see it works it just doesn't work well very well the front is really hard now this third one it's a more cleaned version of the second one with no weird bearing things and it has back suspension so if we drive off here you can see it's still really bouncy and suspension still pretty hard so that brings us to the next version So this one has extra weight on it and the sensors are moved one up to allow for more ride height, I mean um, suspension travel. So yeah it works better than the last one. But suspension is kind of like it's on or it's off kind of thing. So I built the final version and this version actually has two sensors. The normal ones which are set at range three. Then there's these range one ones that are connected into an AND gate which are which is connected to an electric motor which is set at max the normal ones are set at one this one set at max and what this will do is when it gets re the suspension gets really close to the top then it'll snap it back so if we take this out for a drive i think this one's really nice it's very smooth and fluid Well, I guess this is it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to paint your bearings. Bye.